For today's quick exercise, we're going to be creating this object here. Let's get started. Start out by creating a new component. Select the top view. And let's create a sketch on the visible plane. And for this project, we're going to be creating a series of circles. We're going to start out by creating solid circles and add dimensions. We're going to create a construction circle for the outermost edge. We're going to also create a series of lines. I'm going to measure the distance or the angle between this line and this line to be 120 degrees. I'm going to also add a series of more lines. I'm going to use the perpendicular constraint for these two lines here. So it'll be perfectly at 90 degrees. I'm also going to use the symmetry constraint for these two lines as well. It's going to be symmetric to this line here. I'm also going to create a circle, turning off construction. I'm going to measure this to be 10 millimeters. I'm also going to create another solid line and an arc to give us the edge, making sure it intersects this center circle here. Left click, bring it above this construction line. Left click again and hold, bring it around. And make sure it intersects the outer circle again. I'm going to use the concentric constraint. Select this arc, make it concentric with this circle. I'm going to add dimensions to this circle here and make the radius eight millimeters. I'm going to dimension the angle from these two lines to be 30 degrees. I'll make sure that this line is tangent with this arc. And finally, I'm going to use the symmetry, symmetry constraint again, selecting both of these outer lines and making sure it's symmetric with the center. The center is going to be our guide point. I'm going to go ahead and turn off constraints and dimensions so you can see the profile. And this is what it should look like. I'll finish the sketch. Select an extrusion command. I'm going to extrude this profile first. 20 millimeters in length, or shall I say height. I'll make it symmetric, whole length. I bring back the previous sketch. I'm also going to use the extrusion command. Select this profile here and repeat. Symmetric whole length. Making sure the sketch is still visible, I'm going to rotate this to this side. I'm going to select plane at angle. I'm going to select this plane here. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees if it's flat. I'm going to turn off this sketch. I'm going to create a sketch on this plane. Using the two point rectangle, I'm going to create a profile that we can use to cut the geometry. So I'm going to use the midpoint constraint for this edge here, making sure it's constrained to the center point. I want the height to be 10 millimeters. And I want to measure the length to be 40 millimeters. I'll bring back the previous sketch. Next, I'm going to select a sweep command. 
going to select the profile, select the path. I want the distance to be 0.25 and I'll make sure this is set to zero. Operation should be set to cut. Remove the sketch. I want to select a fillet and I'm going to be using full round fillets for the inside. You're going to get an error. Ignore the error. Select side one and then select side two. It'll make it a round fillet. And we'll rinse and repeat. Now that we have that operation, let's go ahead and select the circular pattern command. I'm going to select features. And the feature we're going to be select is going to be this extrusion here, this sweep, and these two fillets. And the axis, we can select the inside. I'm going to rotate this to this point. I'm going to select suppression because I don't want to use this one. I'm going to turn this one off. And that's the profile we're looking for. I'm going to reset it. Select the front view. I'm going to create a sketch on a visible plane. And I'm going to create a profile that I'm going to be cutting out. Select an align command. I'm going to start out on the inside. Create an arc, bring it around. And connect it once again to this line here. Make sure that this line is horizontal. Make sure that this line is tangent with this arc. I'm going to go ahead and close this off. I'm going to also make sure that this line is vertical. I'm going to create a center diameter circle in the very center. Make it 10 millimeters in diameter. This outside circle, I'll make it give it a radius of 10. The distance from this point to this point, I'm going to make three millimeters. And the distance from the center point circle to this center point is going to be 40 millimeters. Now it's fully defined. I'll select the extrusion command. I'll make it symmetric. Whole length, 12 millimeters. Operation should be set to join, not cut. I'm going to create a sketch on this plane here. Starting here, I'm going to create the profile as follows. Let's add some dimensions. This edge here, I want to be two millimeters. And I want the length to be 35 millimeters. And that gives us our profile. Select extrude command. Select the profile we just created. Want the direction to be symmetric and distance to all. Operation should be set to cut. Let's add a fillet to these two edges here. 
make sure that regular fillet selected. Select these two edges and we'll make it six millimeters. Now, I'm gonna show you a trick here because I forgot to do something. I'm gonna back up my project to this point here. And I need to add some fillets here. So I'm gonna add a fillet here, here, and make it eight millimeters. And if we have anything we need to correct, we'll do it right now. As you can see, we got some corrections we need to make here. And let's figure this out. Before we do that, I noticed something right off the bat. There are no fillets here. So we need to go to circular pattern command, edit circular pattern, and we need to go ahead and add that fillet. Now we have fillets here. And let's correct this issue here. We'll bring the timeline back until we see the problem. It's right here at this extrusion. Let's edit this feature. As you can see, the sketch has been elongated. So let's fix this. I'm simply going to delete these two lines here. And add new lines. I'll make sure to constrain these two together. And once again, I'll add dimensions between this line and this line. Make it three millimeters to make sure it's locked into place. I'll finish the sketch and it's set. And we've fixed our problem. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Stick around and I shall see you in the next video.